Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how I created this text effect, which is very popular, which is the metallic text. But this one, the uh, gradient is bent, which is a little different, so we'll just get right to it. Let me close this out. And close that out. And we'll start by making a new document. Default document with a black background and the text impact condensed and type in gold and center that okay now we go um, layer to uh, text layer to layer size remove all the uh, text information now we go create a new layer for our gradient and box that in with the selection for our gradient. Okay, and select your gradient. Now I'm going to use metallic 16. Uh, these are, I have a lot of metallic uh, gradients. I don't know where I got them, but they're pretty cool. And um, if you're going to use a colored gradient, I suggest you desaturate it. But I'm going to use this one, metallic 16, right here. Okay, so we'll stroke it down. Straight down. Okay, now we got our text, select none. We go to filters, distort, lens, distortion. And I've already set most of the parameters for this, but the main and the edge are at minimum, which is negative 100, negative 100. And the zoom, see, that's what you don't want. You want to minimize. the fractalization or what I don't know what that's called but you want to minim minimize the uh, you want to have a full gradient that looks pretty good so we go okay now we have our transform gradient we're gonna hide that for a moment and set our borders with the guidelines so we can scale our gradient to the text. Set out your guidelines. Okay, now go to your gradient layer and scale that. Pull that over and pull this over and pull that down and pull this up. and you can see the little edges of the gradient you don't want to them to be you don't want them edges to be on the inside you want them on the outside and okay scale now we go uh, layer to image size now we go alpha select text layer and select our gradient layer and then invert the selection and clear it there we have it. Our gradient. Select none. Now we have a gradient, which is very slight, nonetheless. Now we want to hide our gradient layer and blur our original text layer by five, which is two or five. Okay. And let that blur and merge that down. And then we want to bump map our gradient layer with our text layer that's been blurred. So, okay, we go filter. <coughs> Excuse me. Map. Bump map. And we bump map. I like to get a lot of depth. Let's see. 
and some elevation, a little whiteness on the edges. Okay, that looks pretty good. Great. Okay, now we have our bump map. Now with our background layer, I'm just going to fill that entirely with black. And then do the curves on our bump mapped text layer. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, you got to try this out. This is all like trial and error kind of stuff. Boop. Hey, that looks pretty good. Okay, we'll go with that. That looks great, actually. Now, I want to create a new layer. And it has to be transparent. And I want to put my uh, color gradient in there. And I created a gradient called Geo Gold, which is what I'm going to use. And I box in the area. Select it with a rectangle select tool, and then do the gradient straight down. Boom. Okay, and then do a uh, gray merge, and there we have it. That's pretty good. But you see the background's got this little tinge in there. We can always go alpha select. Select, invert, edit, clear. None. Now you can do all kinds of other things to it if you'd like. We merge this down. That's our, and then create a duplicate, duplicate, and do a dodge, or do a burn. Lower the opacity on the burn. Lower down. Now let's add some noise. I'm going to add some noise. Add a little noise and check it out. I've already got this already set, but you can see you don't want too much, but you don't want too little. And see, that's like, whoa, look at that. Okay, now, very little bit, little bit like that. That's okay. Okay. Gold noise. Okay, final. That's it. That's pretty much it. And uh, just going to remove all these guides so you can see the layer. Let's see that it looks pretty cool. And it is gold. And it is shiny. And it is a curved gradient. Thanks for watching.